how do you win a writing competition with the generic title, The Day I Fell in Love? Oh, I thought you liked it. I like the story, not the title. Well, it's too late now. You should have told me earlier. I will. Next time. Hey, did you read the second place winners too? It was boring. Too focused on the world buildings. I know. His writing is good, but it just needs an editor. I'm not reading his stuff. No, no, it's just... I think that maybe you guys could get along. Did you meet him? Uh, yeah. We were accepting our awards from the school. I can meet him. If you really want me to. Really? Thanks. I never thought you were gonna say that. Come on, you won a writing competition. I'm feeling nice. Anything else? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm moving away. <coughs> what? When? I wanted to give you the printed version of my book with my personal notes on it. These are the only copies I was able to print because my file document got corrupted. So be careful with it, okay? Thanks. Well, bye then. Bye. So how long have you known it? A year? Are you the new transfer? Yeah, met him two months ago. Well, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. I only have chapter two. No, I only have chapter one. We'll share it. I'll take what you have and give it back when I'm finished reading it. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Hey, this come on. I thought we were going to exchange it. We both know that's never going to happen. Come on. It's, it's okay, we could just glue the pages back together. I ate the paper because what Ace had written didn't really matter. It was important because the writing belonged to me. Ace was the only other passionate writer I knew at this school and he... Well, Ace was my only... When I woke up... I found myself as the character in Ace's story. This has to be a mistake. This is insane, like, this is just one big weird dream, right? Your name tag. My name tag. We're part of the Silly String Club, which is where Kato and Mo first meet. Insane or not, we're in his book. A good starting point would be to find an exit. I've never been transported into a fictional world before. Like, where are we even gonna start? I've read novels like this before, where People get transmigrated into stories. Do you have one of these? The paper changed. It says, complete the story and a number under it. How the heck am I supposed to figure out what a number does? I'm giving us a starting point. It's better than freaking out. So can you please work with me here? I am working with you. No, you're not. You're literally freaking out sexually. Okay, I get it. I'll, I'll think about it and I'll let you know tomorrow. I just need to go to, um, well, Mo's house and look for clues, okay? Tomorrow at 9, we'll meet in the hallway right there. All right. Complete the story. The number's a timer. My guess is that we have to finish the story before it reaches zero. Complete the story. That's specific. There's too many events in the story. I hope you remember the first one. Of course I do. Was there something you wanted to talk about? Oh, uh, yeah. You were first place winner, right? In the writing competition? Yeah, you wrote second place, right? I like that story. It made good competition. Yeah, I think I put too much details into the world. I forgot about the characters. Oh, uh, yeah, my friend said that too. Uh, <clears throat> I came here because I wanted you to help me with my writing. Oh, okay. Do you have any drafts you want me to look at? Uh, yeah, I, I do. Okay, great. Meet me tomorrow at 5. Oh, and, and you can meet my friend, too. She edits all my stuff. 
Wow. So, how are we gonna do this? Maybe if you stand over there and I stand over here, then it'll look like how it was written in the book. It says dance scene now. Maybe if we stand here, the scene will start? So nothing's happening right now. In a little cafe, just the other side of the border. <laughs> it was a city where <laughs> What is it? Actually, you, you remind me a bit of my editor. How? Well, she was pretty awkward when she first met me, too. What am I supposed to do? Just dance! Complete the story. Yeah. In chapter three of The Day I Fell in Love, Ace wrote an ambiguous ending. My own cat to do a silly string fight for fun, but an accident happens and it's hinted that one of them dies. This was the final event of the book we had to complete. And if there's one thing we both realized, it was that only one of us would be getting out of this damn book tonight. I think I want to meet him. The second place writer you met. I mean, come on, man. Like, it'd be awkward. And even if we did become friends, every moment I'd have fun with him. I'd be thinking about how much more fun I'd be having with you. All right. You're talking like I'm your girlfriend, man. Nah, shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna be lonely too in a new school with no one I know. I'm not saying you guys have to be the best of friends. That's why I made the ending to my story unclear. You never know how things are gonna end, but you two will understand each other the most. And that's something I don't think you should simply let pass by. Thanks. No problem. Well, that was weird. Hella weird. All right. Mm -hmm.
Uh, I guess to start. So, what's your name? 